we will be discussing the topic of sleep and Parkinson's disease. Sleep disorders are ubiquitously common in Parkinson's. Up to 90% of patients with Parkinson's will report some sleep problems. We first will review the scope of sleep dysfunction associated with Parkinson's, then briefly discuss what are the causes of sleep uh, problems, and then we'll address the most common approaches to management of sleep dysfunction associated with the disease. So what are the most common sleep problems that the patients come to us and that we report in the large patient population? There are two groups of sleep disorders, problems with sleep initiation and maintenance, when patients report difficulty falling asleep, though the most common complaint that you will hear from patients with Parkinson's is inability to maintain sleep, awakening multiple times, early awakenings for no clear reason. The other group of sleep dysfunction is primary sleep disorders. These are the conditions that can occur in anyone independent from Parkinson's disease. However, some of them have higher incidence in patients with this uh, condition. These are obstructive sleep apnea, restless legs uh, syndrome. Obstructive sleep apnea is a very common condition, especially in aging population, when people have difficulty maintaining their sleep because of airway problem. This condition happens more frequently in patients with Parkinson's compared to the general population. Depending on what studies you review, it can be present in up to 20% of patients with uh, Parkinson's. The common symptoms that the patients will come with will be snoring, that usually the spouse, significant other will report, fatigue, waking up, headaches in the morning on awakening, and overall poor quality of sleep. So if someone hears these complaints, it's very important to bring them up to the physician to discuss. The other uh, primary sleep disorder that frequently occurs in patients with Parkinson's is a condition called periodic leg movement disorder. Again, these symptoms frequently will be brought up by the spouse, spouse or significant other rather than the patient because what will happen, patients will have rhythmic involuntary movements during sleep that can awaken their bed partner and obviously can be associated with disruption of the sleep for the person themselves. The other condition that is closely associated with periodic leg movement disorder is restless leg syndrome. A lot of you have heard about that condition. Again, it's one of the most common movement disorders in the general population, but occurs more frequently in people with Parkinson's disease. Up to 20% of patients with Parkinson's will have restless leg syndrome. What are the manifestations of that condition? That is the condition characterized by restlessness, in uncomfortable sensation of tingling, pain, or other sensory symptoms that make the person want to stand up and walk around, and actually characteristically, when they start doing that, the symptoms get better. And the last criteria for that condition is that the symptoms are much more common in the evening close to the bedtime, and obviously due to that, will interfere with their ability to fall asleep. Again, if someone has symptoms suggestive of restless leg syndrome, should talk to the physician and discuss the management of the condition. They are the large group of sleep-related problems of what we call parasomnias. Those are different, unusual behaviors that can occur during sleep. There are multiple different parasomnias. However, the one that is most commonly associated with Parkinson's disease is a condition called REM behavior disorder. What does that mean? Our sleep consists of two different phases of sleep. REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement sleep. That is the phase of sleep when we dream. And non-REM sleep which is the deeper phase of sleep. So what happens during with REM behavior disorder? All of us have dreams, but the nature of 
REM phase of sleep is that our muscles reach extreme level of relaxation. So whatever the contents of the dream, we cannot act it out. In REM behavior disorder, or the brief abbreviation RBD, that muscle relaxation is lost for unknown to us reason. So people start acting out their dreams, and interestingly, the contents of the dreams most frequently is unpleasant dreaming or fairly active dreams. Acting out dreams can result in uh, injurious behavior to the person or to their bed uh, partner and again obviously will be disruptive for sleep. Patients with Parkinson's also have vivid dreams and sometimes have, can have agitated behavior in sleep frequently associated with their Parkinson's medications. So this is a very brief overview of sleep-related problems that can be seen in Parkinson's. That obviously is not all exhaustive list. I started with a discussion that 90% of patients with Parkinson's will have some dysfunction associated with other disease, obviously. So the next question, where do they come from? Is it un are these problems unique to Parkinson's, or can they occur in aging population in general? The answer is that both are true. A number of problems of sleep are more common with aging. Disrupted sleep pattern, reduced continuity of sleep, and shorter duration of sleep are all reflection of certain degree of aging. However, they are more pronounced than Parkinson's. Parkinson's motor disability obviously contributes to discomfort that can lead to disruption of sleep. If someone is rigid, they have difficulty turning in sleep, getting comfortable, and obviously that will result in disruption of sleep. When someone wakes up, their tremor can start acting out and they will have difficulty falling asleep. Tremor disappears with sleep, but when someone wakes up, especially with fairly pronounced degree of tremor, that again can interfere with uh, sleep. What are the other entities and reasons for disrupted sleep pattern? Parkinson's disease, the pathology of the disease, impacts sleep centers as well as wakefulness centers, and to a large degree, our current understanding of such high frequency of sleep dysfunction associated with the disease is related to underlying pathology and the spread of Parkinson's-related pathology into these centers.